It's runtime, and today is Thursday, September 18th, so here's everything that happened in Indian tech in the last 24 hours. First of all, Nagaland University has replicated the fractal patterns in snowflakes using quantum systems, and this opens several exciting possibilities for quantum technology applications like molecular fractal-based nanoelectric devices. So just to give you an example of what that might look like in day-to-day -day life in the future, right now we have conventional silicon chips, right? powering our phones and laptops, but in the future, researchers imagine this kind of work could inspire fractal-based quantum processors that might end up one day being smaller, faster, and more energy efficient. Uh, fractals also show up in the human body a lot. Neurons branch like fractals, as do blood vessels. And so while this Nagaland University research is pretty deep in the quantum world, someday in the not-too-distant future, it could contribute to helping us precisely understand how signals fire in the brain or how blood flows through the body. And this would be in part thanks to this research from Nagaland University. All right, next up, Arm, the British semiconductor company from England, just opened a facility in Bengaluru, and this has gone viral. It has sparked a lot of discussion. So Ashwini Vaishnava oversaw the inauguration of this office, and he posted about it on X, saying, most advanced chips of two nanometers, which are used in AI servers, drones, and mobile phones, to be designed and developed by Arm in India. Now, it's important to highlight here the wording. They will be designing and developing chips chips, not manufacturing them. So this is not a semiconductor fab, although Tata Electronics is building India's first semiconductor fab in Gujarat, and the first chip production from that plant at Dolera would happen in December of 2026. And they're building this plant in partnership with Taiwan's PSMC. But coming back to this ARM facility, the response to this news was mixed. So Rajiv Malhotra said, this continues the strategy of the past 25 years to turn our brightest into to the labor force for foreign clients. These workers own zero IP, nor does India own any. But then on the other side of the debate, a lot of people were celebrating this. Ankit Jha said, all progress is good progress. Arm doing R&D in India is better than nothing. Small scale microprocessor manufacturing will come about in a few years. All right, next up, for the first time in India, a heavy rare earth free motor is being manufactured in the country. This is being done by Bengaluru based EV company Simple Energy, and they're making these motors in their facility in Hosur in Tamil Nadu. And according to Simple Energy, this new motor offers performance that is comparable to traditional motors using heavy rare earth metals. Now, it is worth noting here that Ola Electric has also been working on something similar a ferrite motor that doesn't use any rare earth metal at all. So while Simple Energy's motor is heavy rare earth free, Ola Electric's is entirely rare earth free. However, it's not clear yet if Ola Electric is already manufacturing these motors. They're saying that they're going to be introducing rare earth free motors in their two wheelers at some point in Q3, October to December. So it could be a few weeks or months before we see these ferrite motors, whereas Simple Energy is saying that they're making these now. They're manufacturing them today. And then just to wrap things up here, a Bengaluru-based EV charger company, Bolt.Earth, has crossed 100,000 chargers across 1,800 cities in India. And also, I did write a thread about Bolt.Earth on X. It has been a fascinating journey for this hardware startup. So if you want to go and check it out, just search Bolt.Earth Caleb on X, and it should be the first result. All right, that is all of the Indian tech news that I have for you all from the last 24 hours. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to join our exclusive WhatsApp community, all you have to do is DM the Runtime account on X. Tell us a little bit about yourself, what you're building, and we'll send you access. All right, I'll catch you in the next one.